Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to bring you guys along for a quick day in my life vlog. I have some things planned today, so I figured it'd be a great day to film. I just finished making my matcha latte, which I've been loving lately. I've been trying to drink more matcha um, as opposed to coffee because I have really bad anxiety and I'm caffeine sensitive. So I do like something that gets me like started for the day, but I don't like the jitters. Let me show you what matcha I've been using. So I've been using this one from Mighty Leaf and I really like it. Um, it's really easy to make and I feel like, like I said, it gives me like that boost of energy but I don't get jitters, I don't crash at all. So you haven't tried making a matcha latte at home, it's a lot cheaper than getting the one at Starbucks. But um, I will just add like honey or some sugar free like vanilla syrup to sweeten it. Really? And it's been doing the job. So. A few errands that I need to run for the day and then probably straighten up a little bit. I am starting a boot camp today, so I'm so excited. Honestly, a little nervous too. I have not worked out in a long, long time. And I'm starting out with like an hour workout, focusing on like legs, your booty, your abs. So we'll see if I'll survive. Um, that's not till tonight at 7.30. What else do I have planned today? I am going to show you guys some some pants that I picked up from The Gap because I need to return some, but I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna keep. So I'm kind of on the fence. So I'll show you like a mini try on haul. And we're getting off an hour early today, which is so nice so I can get some other stuff done. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love to have you guys join along. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and we will get started with my day. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been dealing with like carpal tunnel syndrome and just dealing with a lot of pain in my hands lately, which you guys had some great suggestions on Instagram. So I went ahead and got an ergonomic mouse from my job. Um, the keyboard is in too, which I haven't unboxed it yet. They literally put like a small keyboard in a box this big <laughs> and then I started taking some multivitamins just like a target brand woman's multivitamin gummies I just feel like gummies are so much easier to remember um, they're just more fun to take I feel like I'm a little kid that needs to get tricked into taking her vitamins but it's been working and I've been doing really good with keeping up with these they taste really good I also got a hand brace that I can sleep in. I can work in it too, but I usually just use it to sleep in for right now. The only thing I do need to look into still is stretches, but I am trying to make sure that I am not straining my hands as much. So um, it's progress. I'm just gonna get some work done here in a little bit. Um, I need to send out some emails and get the day started. And then I'm gonna unbox my keyboard. I was not exaggerating when I said they sent me this huge box for a keyboard. Ooh, look at this. Look how big this box is. I feel like, you know, in Christmas time when families prank each other and put a box inside of a box inside of a box. There's a box inside of a box. Oh, wow. This thing is huge. Let me move this over into better lighting. Okay, sorry, I had to move you guys because it was pretty dark in there, but I guess I don't know what exactly I was expecting when I ordered an ergonomic um, keyboard, but I guess I just wasn't expecting it to be this big. 
Look at that. That's huge. And I usually work at, oh no, did I break it already? Uh, okay, no. Oh, this is like the lift, like it rises up. So I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put this because I do like to work at our kitchen table. It's like a small little area. We do have an office, it's, Ray, it's Ray's office. Um, we both use it, but it's his office. And he already has his computer, like his desktop set up in there. So, but it looks like it definitely is gonna help. It's like curved right here. I feel like my arms are gonna have some good places to rest. I'm gonna show you guys Ray's office setup and see if see if I'll start working in here. I just I don't like being confined to the room, like to the home office. I wish like it felt a little bit more open, but whatever. Let me show you his desk and his setup. So as you can see, it is definitely a football room. But that's his like iMac and then his keyboard. This is his like doodle pad. It's like a calendar, but you literally can't read anything that's on there. <laughs> he says he takes notes. I tried to flip the page and he was like, no, there's important information on there. <laughs> but I'm thinking it could fit right here. So I am going to try on some pants in here that I'm not super sure about. Hi, Willie. Do you want to go outside? You want to go outside? I think that face is telling me yes. He's trying to chase the squirrels again. Is he gonna catch them? Probably not. I'm just gonna talk to you guys here sitting down because I feel like that's easier. So both of these pants, actually, so these, these, and the ones that I have on right now, um, actually in like two other pairs. I think I bought like five or six pair of pants and jeans at the Gap the other day, but that was because they were on sale. They were in the clearance rack. And the clearance that day was 50% off. And they didn't have any dressing rooms open because of COVID, but you could buy everything. And then even though they were clearance, you can return them. So I went ahead and bought all the jeans that I thought might fit me because the deals were so good. So um, these first pair, they match my shirt exactly. But I really, really like them. They're like this uh, corduroy material, really pretty like burnt orange. Um, I feel like it's perfect for I say the winter because Texas doesn't have like the coldest winter so it feels like fall all the time especially here in Austin but I'm still like iffy because um, I'll show you a clip here they are a little tight even though they're a size 27 which I usually wear 26 and I've been sizing up to 27 to get a little bit more room but these fit me like a snug 26 but anyways the length fits me really nice I have a really hard time finding pants that fit me because I am five foot nothing so jeans usually swallow me so i'm gonna decide if i'm gonna keep these um by this weekend but let me know what you think about these here so these they are boyfriend style jean um really really pretty wash i love um like this true blue color and they're boyfriend style jean, which is funny because these are size 25 and I haven't fit into a size 25 jean since like high school. So it's just funny that the 27s fit tight and then these size 25s fit great, but they are a boyfriend style. So I know they're supposed to fit looser and they kind of just fit me more on the normal side, but I did not think I would see the day that I would fit into a size 25 anytime soon. Um, but I, Obviously, I'm keeping these. I wore these today. They are so comfy. Um, I usually cut my jeans, but I think I'm going to leave them cuffed because I just like the way it looks. It looks like more casual, um, especially for around the house. And then I'm going to show you these other jeans that I'm not sure if I'm keeping. Actually, scratch that. I'm not keeping these at all. They are too wide on me. I know the wide leg balloon leg is coming in and apparently skinny jeans are going away, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I know that's the trend right now, but these are just, they're not flattering on my body. They look um, like too much of a wide leg. They are like balloon pants, but I think it would look better on someone taller. Like I said, I'm like so so short so they just don't look flattering on me so i'll insert a clip here wearing them um just a little too wide for me so i'm really sad because these were on super sale they were only so they were 33.99 on clearance which means it was half of that so it was like 16 17 bucks 
but I think I'd rather return them, get a cute top, or put it towards a pair of pants that I really, really love. So these are going back. Okay, so these are the pants that I love. They are the, what are they? They're the Sky High Straight Jeans. And I just love, again, that really light blue wash. I don't know if it's really picking up true to color, but it's a really, really pretty wash. Um, it feels like that mom jean color, like that classic mom jean. And the only thing about these is that I'm keeping them, they, but they are too long. They're way too long on me. Um, they are like the, they're 26 regular, but regulars on me are so long. So I love the way the bottom hem looks. Like I just love how straight it is. I love the tiniest fraying on the bottom. So. I don't know if I want to take these to get altered to keep the bottom hem or if I just want to cut it off and have a raw hem. So I'm still deciding there, but I am keeping them. Let me know what you think about the corduroy pants because those are the only ones that I'm on the fence about whether I should keep or return them. So let me know what you think. I am so mad. So I, oh, let me show I was going to film right before I went into my workout and then I turned on my camera and then it says no SIM card. So it was about as bad as I thought it was going to be, honestly. <laughs> um, which it was good, but they made us wear masks the whole workout and it was like a leg workout. So it was just pretty intense. Like I said, I hadn't worked out in a I can't remember the last time I worked out. And then it was an hour long class. So I probably should have started with a 30 minute class, but. I'm glad I started. That was like my first trial class. I really like the setup, so I'm gonna sign up for some more classes. But right now, um, I'm a cop salad. So just showered and washed my face. I literally just washed my face, so that's why it looks so red. It calms down. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been using to like cleanse. So I've been using the Tula the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I really like this one. And then I also got a new um, moisturizer because I was out of my other CeraVe um, moisturizer. So I tried this one just because my skin had been feeling a little bit more dry now that it's colder. So this is the moisturizing cream for normal to dry skin. I have combo skin, so I will say in the winter uh, my face does start feeling a little bit more dry and then in the summer it gets more oily so I wasn't sure how I felt about it after the first couple of uses but now that my skin's gotten used to it I do like it so I'm going to bed I'm exhausted that workout kicked my butt so thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you guys next time